I'd like to spend a few moments to talk about Melodic Motion Etude number 19. This features a very wide-ranging melody. We're going to start way up here on the board so that we have some room to move down and look at all the different permutations through a key. If you haven't yet done so, I'd like it very much if you'd subscribe to the channel. Please like, share, and leave a comment. If you'd care to make a donation, the information for PayPal is in the description below. And let's get started here with Melodic Motion Etude number 19. So, as you may have heard, the bass line is very consistent. We're walking down the scale of one sharp from G to G, and we're ascending a third in the scale each time. So we're going to go from G to B, F sharp to A, E to G, D to F sharp. It's also a good way to start thinking too, even away from the instrument. Start thinking in thirds, thinking in back cycling fourths, different little exercises you can do just to ingrain these patterns and sounds in your mind. So the idea is the melody each time is going to come down three steps. So in the beginning here, 19th fret B, 17th fret A, and G, 15th fret. And we're going to start with this compound interval. So G and B, 15 and 19. And by the time we reach the last note, of our melodic run here. We're going to be up a third with a B in the bass, 14th fret and 15th fret of the first string. And we're going to follow that line and that mechanism all the way down through the key and see what we get in terms of fingerings and shapes. So this is a, a major key, kind of a, or sorry, major chord. major chord kind of shape. The next one is going to be F sharp and A, 14 and 17, descending to 14 F sharp on the first string with an A in the bass, 12th fret of the fifth string. Now same thing. E and G, 12 and 15, half step to F sharp, 14th fret, 10 and 12, G and E, 5th string, 1st string. Now we need major chord, D, so it's be the same shape that we had for G. We're reaching out this compound interval here, D and F sharp, 10th and 14th fret, down to 12 and coalescing with 9 and 10, F sharp and D, 5th and 1st strings. You can make another little pattern by reaching up. So where were we? We did D. Now we need C, same thing as D. 8 and 12, C and E. Walking down to D, 10th fret. Coalescing here at 7 and 8, E and C. 5th string, 1st string. Now a similar one that we've had. It's B minor. Going between root position and 1st inversion. 7 and 10, B and D, coming down a whole step to C, and finding itself here at 5 and 7, D and B, 5th string, 1st string, I hope you're seeing the pattern by now, 5 and 8, A and C, with a B below, then C and A, 
third and fifth fret of the fifth and first strings. And now G again. Three and seven, five, B, A, with a G in the bass, to B and G, two and three on strings five and one. So each time in my vision, I'm seeing the bass move. I'm just walking, walking thirds. This has been of some interest to you. Maybe you found something that you can use in your own playing. I certainly hope so. I look forward to seeing what you might have in terms of questions or comments or suggestions for future videos. And I do, as always, wish you a very good day.